You know, about, uh, about three weeks ago, you know, as we went into the second half of the season, hadn't played our best ball, needed to get on a roll and get some momentum going. And that's what we've done. Seemed like each week something new comes along. This week, you know, 10-10 game at the half. And, you know, similar situation as, uh, as I told the team with the Michigan game, except for we're really behind in, need to play great ball in the second half. We felt like that's what we needed to do here. First half, we had been, you know, hanging in there. Uh, but defensively, we need to take the ball away. That's a part of our DNA. We rely on that. That's what we expect to do. Um, what can I say about Dele Harding? You know, senior, captain, uh, makes all of the calls, whether it was big hits, interceptions, touchdowns, uh, just outstanding play. Outstanding play really by the linebackers and, and uh, in general. We had a couple defensive players, Wale Batiku and uh, Jamal Woods, that were down. So really liked the way some of our uh, defensive linemen that don't normally get a chance to play as much stepped up. Offensively, though, you, you have to, uh, you know, to win games, you got to score points. Though Brandon, of course, big throw, of course, big run. And we just kept, I mean, it was a heavyweight fight most of the time, and uh, we hung in there. But when you take the ball away on the defensive side and you have ball security on the offensive side, and, you know, of course, if you look to that who won and, or, or lost, it's normally about that turnover ratio. No major injuries, uh, which, which puts us in, in position to have the biggest game we've had since I've been here, this one coming up this week. No, we don't. We haven't talked about bowl game, but that'll be big for our program. And uh, next week, that's what's at stake. So we're going to embrace that and go ahead. Take your question. It's okay if kids now Absolutely, it's okay. We, it's always about the next game. And if we win the next football game, we're bowl eligible. Absolutely, we. I started that in the in the locker room right now. We're embracing it. You talked about some of the uh, defensive players that normally don't get a lot of accolades. You know, playing time stepping up. Talk about Keith Randolph and what he did today. You know, we've loved Keith. You know, we we like our young freshman lineman that we we uh, that we brought in. Seth Coleman was ready. But we're kind of preserve trying to preserve his uh, red shirt year if we can. But Keith Randolph has done some good things, and he's been a part of the plan. Uh, and I thought he did some good things. He's been getting more and more reps. Uh, he can play to run well. He's got a bright future. Has he just been putting it together for this kind of performance? Yeah, the team needed him to. I mean, Isaiah Gay is different, completely opposite of what the situation Keith was in. He's been around here and has had flashes where he's really performed well. Playing consistent ball is what has been with Isaiah, but he stepped up today. Well, the uh, takeaways, obviously, is your key to focus on it. When did that start for you? And, uh, I, I don't. It's just been a part of, of, of just what I believe um, to be able to have play winning ball. Uh, why not? It's a, and it's just not takeaways. It's, it's about ball security on the offensive side, which leads to that turnover ratio. Our guys have bought into it. Offense has just as so much to do with that by protecting the football the way we have lately. Just taking advantage of those takeaways. You can score on every takeaway. How does that come? How does that well, that's the next part of the equation. You either score uh, like we did today. I'm just going to uh, mention Nate Hobbs, too. Nate Hobbs is an outstanding player, but he hasn't had any flash plays. And believe me, we, we're, we've been on him every day. We In our defensive room, we have a, a exclusive club, touchdown club. And uh, Nate joined it today. But uh, it's good to see him make a play like that because he's been playing outstanding ball. Did you have a that you played for or worked under that was that really stressed that though? Oh, I just, you know, yeah, I've, I've had a chance to work, you know, for under a lot of great coaches and uh, seemed like all of them stressed it. Uh, as far back as I remember, you know, that's been a base part of football for me. I say it's going to go back to Jim Norman, my high school coach, John Cooper, Larry Martin, me, and go all the way down the line. All of those guys stressed it as much as we do now. Tony Dungy. Oh, I'm sorry. What was my best uh, takeaway? 
see if I start, it sound like I'm bragging if I start saying that. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah. Keep, keep in mind, keep in mind uh, I played for Big Sandy High School, one of the greatest high school programs uh, that ever played football. I can say that now, right? No, I didn't have much to do with it. I played on some great teams with some great players for sure. Uh, three weeks ago, before the, before the Wisconsin game, you guys started sitting there 2 to 4. What's the next three games mean to you going forward? You say that the next three going forward? The three you just that we just, yeah. well, you know, we were sitting there with that record and weren't pleased, but as a coach, you know, I, I was coming here, we were all saying that we're getting better, we're close. Um, you know, you've seen we lost some close games, but I've seen we've seen improvement. And if you keep, if you feel like you're doing things the right way, uh, and you keep just working hard, normally it changes, and that's what's happened with our program. And then when you get some momentum and guys really start feeling it and believing it, we believe that we were going to win today. And if we and if we play the type of football that we're capable of, we can. But What's happened now, now we have those wins and guys see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that shit, we, we, we're talking about playoff football. Playoff football, you win in advance. That's what we, we've been in that mode for a while. Yes. Well, I, I think I would. I mean, I, as you know, I've been saying that quite a while. He doesn't get enough credit for the runner that he, he can be when we need him to. And in our offense, occasionally we would need him for that, to do something like that. If that happens, offensive line had to open up some good holes. It's not like he was, he had to, you know, break a whole lot of tackles on that run, but an outstanding play by him. Yes? How, how did you just see the defense's energy change after he got that first takeaway and then they hop scored it and then two more takeaways coming after that? It seemed like everyone just won one for themselves after that. I think the game is about momentum in general. Uh, momentum, if you lose it, it's kind of hard to get it back. And we lost it a little bit at the end of the first half. But um, that's what happens when you take one away and then others want to do it. I mean, there's competition to, to, to make big plays. I talk about Nate Hobbs. After that, you know, of course, Dele Harding. You know, he's the leader. You know, as far as scoring touchdowns around here, that's good competition that you want the guys to feel. A lot of the questions around the program about, about building it up. How important is it to, does it feel like it's stabilizing, and how important is it to have the, these consistencies with wins? Well, I, I think we're, I, I think everyone would say we're headed in the right direction. We haven't accomplished anything. I mean, but when I say that, there, no, we have accomplished a lot as far as we're concerned within our building uh, for us to get our fifth win, third in a row. That's an awful lot, but there's so much more that we have to do. We had a great third quarter, and now we have, to, we have what, th about three games left, right? Four quarter left, right? It's always about the four quarter. So all we've done is put ourselves in position to have an outstanding four quarter, and we can't wait. Don't have much time. You know, if we had a bye week, maybe we'd think a little bit about that. But, but guys, it's the same routine each week. When we win, we're going to celebrate. Guys are celebrating the locker room with just pumped, pumped up, pumped up the volume, the music, all that good stuff. We're going to enjoy it tonight. Tomorrow, you come over there, we're back, back at work. Uh, this just made this win just set up this next game to, you know, if us had the biggest game we've had since I've been here. So not a whole lot of time. We'll do it for a while, though. It feels like for the last three years you've sold hope for so long. And you have a lot of recruits here today. How does it change now? that You have three wins, you're up to five and four overall. How does that recruiting pitch change to those guys? I, I think the recruits have been buying into what we've been sell, selling, saying for a long period of time. But I think it helps a little bit. They, a lot of people have wanted us to do well. But once you start really, you know, confirming it with victories, it helps an awful lot. I think most recruits that, you know, I talk to, they like everything we're doing. But, but coach, if, if we had a better product on the football field, that's what we've gotten. You know, it was, hey, coach, if we had better facilities, you know, when we were here. And then, coach, if we had a better product on the football field, we have better facilities. Thanks, Jai. And we... We have a better product on the football field. 
I would get on board with that. And we have some great prospects here, to, to, you know, of course, today, and we'll have more coming. In the first half, when they called Bebe out of bounds in the end zone, uh, there were some people that thought maybe you should have challenged that. What do you have to say to people that think your style might be a little bit too conservative? One more time on that. What do you have to say to people that think you're maybe a little bit oh, too I'm not really kind of interested in that. You know why I didn't challenge it? It's what you tell those people. The official told me, Lovey, we saw it. It was an incomplete pass. So what else? So those people, tell them that, all right? Fair enough? And most of the things that happen behind the scenes, there's a little bit of thought has gone into it, and that was definitely the case on that. So tell those people that, all right? Coach, time, how, what was the mood like with the guys? I mean, you said 10-10. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what, how were the guys? Were they disappointed? Oh, okay. Yeah, disappointed at, at how we had played. Uh, and that's a good thing, too. You know, started off 10-point league, and they got momentum at the end. There was disappointment because we, I know defensively, we had missed some plays. Offensively, we hadn't been able to get our run going. Uh, but it was, there was disappointment. But there was also uh, a lot of energy heading in to the second half. Uh, again, a similar, we've been in that position a few times at the half where we need to play a lot better ball. Same feeling I got that I've gotten other times when we've come out and played better ball in the second half. How does it feel to kind of validate that now? <clears throat> Four years ago, you had a plan now. At this point, you got three straight wins. You're starting to get things under the line. Well, I, I would just say that we're validating. I mean, it's just we, we feel pretty good about making progress, but it's just so far to go. We're just getting started. I just know that we like where we are right now, winning. It's fun winning and seeing some of the fruits of our labor a little bit, um, you know, see it panning out the way we would like. That part is really good. But again, we haven't really done much right now except for confirm that there's improvements being made behind the scenes. What does the response to the, the GoFundMe for Bobby just in the last three days maybe mean to you? Yeah, that, it's uh, just been kind of overwhelming a little bit. You know, I've been, we've been involved with, um, you know, Bobby is uh, fighting every day. I mean, he's got a lot tougher battle that he's fighting. Uh, a lot more than all of us, and we've seen that behind the scenes. But it's going to take an awful lot, you know. Uh, we, we're judging progress by inches that he's making. Uh, things that'll help that would be funds. There's a lot of care that that he needs on a daily basis. So for us, all of us, the university has has rallied around him from the moment he went down with the injury. Uh, but that's good, and uh, to just see how many people stepped up right away. A lot of people have been asking, what can I do to help Bobby Roundtree? Now we have that uh, kind of in place. All I'd say is just thanks for everything that you've done for him. I know he appreciates it. Bobby, keep in mind right now, we have meetings. FaceTime, Bobby is in the meeting with us. In the locker room there, Bobby is there. So I know he's appreciative of everything that everyone has done to him.